I've got a fresh install of Dragon OS. Uh, I've added the my user to sudo and removed the need to add the password every time. I've shown that in previous videos. Uh, for this video, I want to show uh, something else that's pre-installed called Shiny SDR. I've got the page pulled up here. Uh, what interested me was the the remote operation uh, where you can uh, basically set up your software-defined radio and then get to it uh, anywhere either over the LAN or over the internet, although you need uh, a pretty good connection to, to really stream it out over the internet. Uh, I think I'll make this a multi-part video and we'll add in different features uh, at, or as I go, because by default RTL 4 through 3 is not pre-installed in Dragon OS, so I think there's some additional things that we can install, but just to get you up and running real quick and we'll try uh, receiving uh, FM. Just pull up a terminal here and you can see the help um, menu here. Really what we need to do is uh, create a, a config directory and then we will run it. I have the RTL SDR plugged in uh, by default it it looks for that I'll show you so. so you can see it created a directory here and then within that directory take a look at this config file we can see uh, it's set for this the generic driver here and you can see what all it covers uh, you can come down you see the port numbers which if you wanted to access this over the internet you would have to port forward both of these po uh, ports here and then you can change the the secret I guess you would say on the URL uh, there's really no password protection other than uh, making this really random and adding that to the end of the URL to be able to access it okay so now that we've created the directory we'll come back and we should just have to run Shiny SDR and then the name of the directory or the config file that we created. Copy and paste this URL. You'll see it loads up. I come over here, I change the RF source so it's seeing my uh, RTL SDR. Another unique thing is uh, within the bandwidth of the software defined radio you can pick actually multiple channels to monitor but we'll just go ahead and let's see what we got here. Uh, once you uh, get it on the frequency that you want, if you click on the left click on the frequency here, it's going to open up a receiver down here. And then you can change it AM, narrow, broadcast FM. And you might be able to hear it here. Let me turn it up. Now I'm, I'm losing, I've got uh, some errors here because uh, I, I think this is pretty CPU intensive and the laptop I'm running this on is, is, uh, is pretty old.
But this is just uh, an example. You can, um, if, if you were to port forward this out over the internet, you could access this and configure, take a look at the spectrum uh, from a, a remote location. There's, um, there's actually a lot of features in here I want to mess around with, uh, especially when we start looking at RTL 433 and telemetry. Uh, you can set up, let's see. If you click on here, you can turn on and off uh, the, the windows here that are, that are open. You want to just see the whole spectrum here. So just wanted to show a quick uh, example here for uh, configuring Shiny SDR and getting up and running with that. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to this and uh, well, especially once I get more familiar with it, we'll, we'll go over some of the, uh, the more advanced features.